In our previous videos, we understood how to get these multiples and factors. Now, let's move on to understand some properties of multiples and factors. First, let's understand the properties of multiple. Here, in this examples, you can see 16 is the multiple of 1 and 16 itself. 8 is the multiple of 1 and 8 itself. 27 is the multiple of 1 and 27 itself. So we can say that every number is a multiple of 1 and itself. You can also see that 16 is greater than or equal to these numbers. 8 is also greater than or equal to these numbers. And 27 is also greater than 1, 3, 9 and equal to 27. So we say that multiple of a number, these are the multiples. Multiples of a number is always greater than or equal to the number itself. You can also see that 16 is a multiple of 2. 8 is also a multiple of 2. So here we can see 2 multiples of 2. What are the other multiples of 2? Multiples of 2 can be obtained by multiplying 2 to any other number. 2 multiplied by 1, 2 multiplied by 2, 2 multiplied by 3 and so on. So all the numbers that come in 2's table are the multiples of 2. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and so on. We can extend this table endlessly. So we can say that a number has an unlimited number of multiples. Now let's move on to the properties of factors. You can see that 1 is a factor of every number. And every number is a factor of itself. 8 is a factor of 8. 27 is a factor of 27, 16 is a factor of 16. Every number is a factor of itself and 1 is a factor of every number. You can also see that the biggest factor of a number is the number itself. The biggest factor is the number itself. You can see 1, 2, 4 and 8 are less than 16 and 16 is equal to 16. So we say that the factors of a number are either less than or equal to the number. 1, 2, 4 are less than 8 and 8 is equal to 8. So we say that the factors are either less than or equal to the number. 1, 3, 9 are less than 27 and 27 is equal to 27. We say that factor of a number is either less than or equal to the number. Only these numbers can be multiplied together to get 16. That is, only these numbers can give us 16. So we say that a number has a limited number of factors. Only these numbers can give us 8. So we say 8 has limited number of factors. Only these numbers can give us 27. So we say that 27 has these four factors only. So, a number has a limited number of factors. I hope you understand the properties very well.